A very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year 2024 to all our customers, old and new. And for people thinking about an RSP, this little video is just showing the new SDR Connect, what it's like when you have a brand new RSP out of the box. Let's see how easy it is to do. So here's our RSP, in this case it's an RSPDX. We've got a USB B cable, like uh, an old printer cable, to connect to. In this case, it's a Windows 10 laptop PC. It's a few years old, it's an Aspire 3. So, as well as our RSP and our computer, and we'll go through the software in a minute, we need an antenna. So first of all we need to get an antenna, some wire up in the air, I've come out into the garden and we're going to just uh, sling it up across the tree. So we've now got about 20 metre length of wire, not very high, but coming across to the house here. And we're just going to use this as our first uh, attempt at an antenna. Well, the wind has really got up today, so I hope you can hear me, but I'm going to now set up the ground. Grounding is very important for antennas. Again, we're just, just showing you how quickly we can get this thing set up. A very crude ground, it's just a rod into some nice uh, moist earth. So now we have an antenna and a ground and are ready to try out our RSP. All the RSPs have SMA antenna sockets so you'll need some sort of adapter to connect your antenna. I'm using a, a short coax connector to the popular SO239 um, socket which for this demo we're going to just connect our wire antenna to the centre and our ground to the outside. There we have the antenna in the centre to stop it uh, moving around, just put a bit of tape around that, very crude, but just for this demo to get things started, um, there's a lot of information about uh, proper antenna designs and use of balance and so on, but you'll find you can get some pretty good signals with just this crude approach to get started. So that's the antenna. And we'll connect this uh, the ground to the, to the outer. So that's our um, antenna for getting started. So we go to sdrplay.com, click on the software button and choose SDR Connect Preview. This is our multi-platform software for Mac, Windows and Linux. This will take you to lots of information about the features and links to video guides, but if you go right to the bottom you can download the software for whatever platform you're on. I'm using an old Windows machine so we'll click on the Windows 64 download. So we just let the computer take its time. At this point you should make sure that your RSP is unplugged. 
keep following the prompts. It'll then tell you to plug in your RSP, reconnect it, and finish. We're now going to launch SDR Connect from the icon on the desktop. You'll see it's found our RSPDX. Click on Start to open up the software, where you'll see we have the Spectrum display, the top left, underneath it the waterfall, and <clears throat> various controls over on the right hand side. In the top right you can see the demodulated audio spectrum display. So just to use it as a simple communications receiver, <clears throat> um, that many of you will be familiar with from old uh, style radios. You go straight to the band buttons where you'll see we have a range of different uh, band buttons from the uh, lower hand bands, the higher hand bands, broadcast bands and other bands. You'll notice it started off in the FM broadcast band. The user interface is pretty intuitive. As I say, lots of video guides to uh, assist you if needed, but um, Basically this tuning function can be the scrolling wheel of your mouse which will move the frequency up and down. Whichever band you choose uh, there'll be a nice preset filter choice so all the lower hand bands uh, will be lower side band at above 10 megahertz, like 20 meters here be upper side band the great thing with an SDR of course is you can see the signals and where they are and go straight to them So with an RSP and a new SDR Connect, you have a really easy to use general coverage receiver straight out of the box, as I've shown here, whether you have a Windows, Mac or Linux uh, computer. And with that, I'd like to say from everyone at SDR Play, a very happy Christmas.